How's it going everyone? This is Low Budget Pokemon here with another video. Today, da, 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 it's, I'm going to be opening this mail that I received. Um, so this I actually found this morning and you can see that there's actually a little bit of water in on, on it. It's kind of wet and you can see that the package is flimsy, right? So I ordered a Pokemon card on eBay. Um, I was waiting for it, waiting for it. The seller never updated the tracking. So there's apparently tracking. I sent him an email, where's the tracking? He never responded. And lo and behold, there's tracking. I never knew that it was here. So it sat, oh, sat on my front porch overnight. So, you know, I think I know what card this is and I'm very excited to get it. Um, but just by looking at how this is packaged, um, and you know, just like by the handwriting, how there's no tracking, I will see how the condition is. Okay, well, I paid I paid top dollar for this card, so we'll see. So you can see that this package is just, I mean, like I said, it's been sitting sitting on the front porch overnight, and you can see like there's it's just, you know, there's just dew all over it. I, don't have, I had no idea when this was delivered. So. Looks like, you know, he does the typical cardboard and you got a little hard plastic, you know, hard top loader right there, which is good, which is a good sign. Seems like he uh, might have tried to repackage this. So we'll see as long as the card is okay. Okay, so this is your typical Japanese card. I'm trying to get into Japanese promos here. Um, for this year and next year, and on the back it looks pretty good. I'm pretty surprised, okay? We'll take it out in a little bit. Um, and then this is the front, okay. Wow, look at this card. Let's take, take this out. So a little bit more background about this card. This card was given out to shoppers back in 2018 of Japanese Pokemon centers who purchased five booster packs or more. Again, this was a free card given, so I, I would imagine it's pretty widely distributed. It doesn't hold as much value as some of the other 20th anniversary cards out there uh, from Japan. But again, I picked this card up because I really like the artwork. Uh, Pikachu is having a grand time. He's holding a you know, a handful of flowers. I guess these are cherry blossom flowers and you have a bunch of flowers falling around him. And just the design of Pikachu, he looks extremely cute and just just makes me feel happy looking at this card. This card currently goes for around 60 bucks. So I would say pretty, you know, I got a pretty good deal on this card. Um, I would say near mint was probably going higher. I've seen this card go higher in auctions, but I was able to make a deal uh, and was able to buy this card straight from the from the seller who is a US based seller. So you don't have this kind of, um, you know, uncertainty in, in shipping. So that was definitely an added bonus. So I, without hesitation, just picked this card up. So let's go ahead and do a quick assessment of this listing. So this listing is for Pokemon Center Pikachu 20th anniversary promo in near mint condition. I bought this card for $60 under a best offer. And it comes with again free shipping and it's from a US best based seller. Right off the bat, we see that there's three pictures. All of them are dimly lit, which gives us an advantage, right? Because a lot of people look for condition, right? They, they buy the uh, cards based on condition. If the pictures are blurry or if it's dimly lit, it doesn't disclose a lot of you know potential hidden flaws that the cards may have, and people will actually pay a premium, uh, you know, if your if your pictures are actually better better taken. So here we have a potential opportunity on our hands. So right off the bat, we can see what I look for is that you know that this card is clean, right? With it, that the edges are straight, and that there's no chips or uh, whiting along the edges, right? So you can see here again that there's a little bit of glare in the right hand corner. Uh, the lights probably coming have no idea where the lights coming from. It's just poorly lit blurry picture um, But but again, right you can see that you know, this car is pretty well centered uh, edges are pretty straight You can see that there's a little bit of 
I don't know, what, what is that, like a dark hair, maybe, on the white part along the edge right there. Uh, you, you know that that's not on the card because you can see that there's a slight shadow cast on the left hand side of that of that debris. So I'm not too worried about that. And going to the back, you can see that there's probably more debris right there. Uh, there's this thing, which, you know, I didn't think too much about that. I think, you know, based on, you know, what I've seen of this card, I think, you know, that that white thing along that edge is uh, is probably just glare. Again, how the light's hitting the protective sleeve. Um, again, you can get more glare here, right, along the right-hand side. And at this point, this is just, you know, this is just, th this picture is just completely blurry, right? Like, this, th that's definitely glare, but it doesn't even look like glare. It looks like that's part of the card. So again, this is a poorly, poorly taken picture, um, which is unfortunate because this card is in such mint condition. I think the price could have gone much higher. On the right hand side, on the left hand corner, you can see that there's what looks like whiting along the edge, uh, along, along that corner. Corner looks maybe a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit rounded, but we know that that's not the case because of two reasons, right? Because of number one, the actual seller actually retook the picture and you can see that there's no whiting there. You can't really, you hardly can make out that corner to be honest, but again, you can see that there's no whiting. And also if that's the left hand corner, uh, on the back, there would be the right hand corner on the, on the front, you can see that that corner is actually not damaged. So again, you know, um, if, you're, if you're trying to sell your card, ungraded card for top dollar on eBay, it's very important to take quality pictures uh, because a lot of the times when you say near mint, I've seen cards that are not sold for near mint condition, anywhere near near mint condition. So people always put a lot of emphasis on, on the quality of the pictures. So if you guys enjoyed this video and would like to see more unboxing videos in the future, please like and subscribe to my channel. It definitely helps me out a lot. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.